Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Miss B Hanley and today we're going to talk about parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech in the English language. The first and most common are known as nouns. Nouns are and things. Nouns are also ideas. There are three different types of nouns when you look at a basic sentence. The first is proper nouns. Proper nouns are specific persons, places, things, or ideas. For example, McDonald's is a specific place. Your teacher, Ms. B. Hanley, is a specific person. Your school computer is a specific thing. Whenever you use a proper noun in a sentence, you always want to make sure that it is capitalized. The next type of noun you'll see in a basic sentence is a concrete noun. These are people, places, and things that are tangible, that we can see in the physical world. For example, a coffee cup is a tangible thing. Your friends are people that you see in real life. Your pool is a place you can go to in the physical world. All of these are examples of concrete nouns. The last type of noun you'll see in a basic sentence are abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are intangible things like friendship, liberty, trust. All of those things you can't physically see or touch. That's what makes them abstract nouns. The next part of speech also has to do with nouns, but it's a different part of speech. It's called a pronoun. A pronoun replaces a noun in a sentence. She, her, he, him, they, them, and it are some of your basic pronouns. In a sentence, you might start off by talking about a specific person using a proper noun. Later, you may not want to say their name again. Instead, you'll use a pronoun to help replace that noun from the earlier part of the sentence. There are lots of different types of pronouns. In fact, we use pronouns more often than we think. I'm gonna go over in more depth about the different types of pronouns in another video. The next part of speech is a verb. Verbs are action words or a state of being. Run, jump, and laugh are all different types of verbs. But when we use verbs in our sentences, we more often will use the verb in a specific tense. In our sentences, we use three different types of tenses. I ran to the store is past tense. I am jumping over is present tense. I will laugh is future tense. If we're trying to describe an action or a state happening in a specific point in time, we might use perfect tenses. In perfect tenses, you use the linking verb had to help describe a specific point in time. In our past perfect tense, I had ran to the store. In our present perfect tense, I have jumped over already. In our future perfect tense, I will have laughed a lot. There's a last type of verb that we use that we don't even realize, and those are linking verbs. Linking verbs are all forms of the verb to be as well as to become or to seem. Verbs are actions or a state of being. Linking verbs link the subject of the sentence with the form to be to another verb or to the rest of the sentence. The next part of speech is called an adjective. Adjectives describe nouns. The next part of speech is called an adverb. Adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. In our first sentence, we use beautiful to describe the lake. In our second sentence, we use slowly to describe ran. In our first sentence, beautiful is describing a lake, which is the noun. In our second sentence, slowly is describing ran, which is a verb. Our next part of speech is called a conjunction. Conjunctions join words, phrases, and clauses in a sentence. The first type of conjunction we see is called a coordinating conjunction. These conjunctions join two independent clauses. The best way to remember coordinating conjunctions is FANBOYS. FANBOYS is an acronym for FOR, AND, NOR, BUT, OR, YET, SO. 
The next type of conjunction is called a subordinating conjunction. These conjunctions join an independent clause with a dependent clause. The last type of conjunction is called a correlative conjunction. This is a pair of conjunctions that join two equal clauses. Correlative conjunctions use words like either or, whether or, or both and. The next type of part of speech is called a preposition. A preposition is a word that introduces a prepositional phrase and an object of the preposition. In our sentence, we located the key for the door. For the door is our prepositional phrase. For is our preposition and door is our object of the preposition. Our last part of speech is called an interjection. An interjection is a word that expresses emotion from the author or the speaker. Usually it is followed by an exclamation point. So that's it for parts of speech. To go over once more, our parts of speech are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, conjunction, preposition, and interjection. I hope this helped clarify some parts of speech questions you may have had, or just helped you refresh your memory about the different parts of speech in the English language. If you need any help or more in-depth information about the different parts of speech, you can check out the other grammar videos that I have available. I will be going in-depth with each part of speech and how they work in a sentence. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in class. Bye!